sales in America with the green vegetable fueled antics during the Great Depression. You know, I did believe in Popeye's like, ability. Oh, yeah, when, yeah, with the can of spinach. Yeah, and cracking up. Yes, it worked. Power of marketing. It worked. And that is the kind of publicity that the campaign uh, Veg Power is hoping to achieve. That it sets out to make mushrooms, mange too, all of those things much more appealing. We can talk about this with GP and nutritional expert Dr. Roman Chatterjee. Good morning. Good morning Tell us about this campaign then, because it's got, it's got quite a few big names behind it. Yeah, it's something that I, I'm you know, a huge supporter of with Jamie the other day, a huge member of the Stall. We're basically trying to create a big fund to get more advertising money into vegetables, right? Because we all know we should be eating more veg. I don't think that's news. Okay, but why aren't we? You know, 80% of children are still not eating enough veg. 95% of teenagers aren't. And I think that vegetables, for some of us, have got an image problem. What's the helpful difference between fibre day here? Look, public having and garments are fibre day. I mean, my own recommendation with my patients was to try and have five different coloured vegetables every day if possible, because I think there are huge health benefits from that. But here's the point. We need to make vegetables appealing, cool, attractive for people, and especially for children to eat. And we're going to get some big names. So, so John Hegarty, one of the biggest names in advertising, he's behind this, you know, and he genuinely believes that actually if we can make some exciting digital content, we can help all those parents watching who are struggling to get their children to eat veg often because we're competing against an industry of, you know, junk food advertising where a lot of money is spent behind making those foods attractive. So we need to make our veg much more attractive. Um, and is it teaching people how to use vegetables? It sounds really obvious, doesn't it? But it's way easier to buy processed food that's already prepared as a meal than buying a raw cauliflower. Yeah, so there, 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 there's a sort of a combination of measures with this fund. The first one is a fund that we're trying to get support from retailers, from the food industry, and, and lots of support is pouring in. The public are getting behind something called a crowd fund, uh -huh. and we're, we're sort of taking um, you know, donations from the public to help try and sort of be, boost up that fund. But people are also with that they're getting access to recipes from celebrity chefs, exciting ways to make those vegetables, you know, get them into your kitchen and into your children's mouth. So yeah, it's not just about making it attractive through advertising, it's also some real practical ways to help our children to eat more veg. Fruit did well, didn't it? Didn't you see the statistics? Yeah, amazing somewhere? statistics. So just by the power of marketing, um, and I, I find this incredible, that um, the British Summer Fruit Association launched a PR campaign. This is back in 2002, as we said. But sales of berries rose to, what, 370 million quid to 1.3 billion. That was a huge growth just from advertising. The power of advertising. We know, I spoke to a food industry ad executive recently. He told me that you know the amount of advertising and thought that goes into junk food and processed food and how to make that attractive to people. It's just absolutely incredible. What was that though? Was it, you know, the whole blueberry thing being a superfood and, you know, getting it involved, getting time of it, it became part of you, everyone's it's breakfast, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, not many people even eat blueberries. Yeah, yeah. and then you see all the press articles around yeah. it and suddenly you all think, yeah, I need my so blueberries. What's, what's the vegetable that's going to, you know, float our boat? So <laughs> what's, well, look, we've got loads and loads of ideas. I don't know. I mean, we've obviously got a lot here on the table, you know, got sort of Carrots, red peppers, so it's that one flowers. thing, isn't it? It's that one, it's one vegetable that's going to spark off the, the kind of craze, I suppose. Absolutely. It's almost, you know, they've all got magical health properties, if, if we're honest. But, you know, sometimes you need to actually promote that one vegetable. But look, the point is here, I'm not an advertising expert. We're going to get those top brains behind this fund. And, you know, as a dad, I, you know, yes, I'm a GP, but I'm also a dad who, who tries to get my two kids to eat more veg. And there are some things that you can do. You know, you can get your kids involved in the kitchen, get them chopping from an early age, which is what I try and do with my children. I tell you, the best way for me and a lot of my patients and their families is to use rainbow charts, right? You gamify vegetables. Instead yeah. of saying, you know, instead of eating veg because daddy tells you to eat veg, you know, my kids genuinely, like a few days ago, on, on our vegetable charts, my son didn't have his red colour. He said, Dad, what am I going to do? And I said, well, you know, what are you going to do? So he, he walks to the fridge, pulls out a red pepper, cuts it, and shoves it down his throat. And, <laughs> and not because Daddy said, hey, you know, the red colour's got lycopene in, it's really good for your heart. Although I, I do say that sometimes. But it's because there's this rainbow chart that's, uh, you know, lots of GPs around the country now are using this rainbow chart that I sort of put out there many times in the public domain so that people can use it as a free resource to get people eating more veg. Really interesting. And just before you go, right, final word, what is a portion? Because we're talking about five portions today. I mean, so if you're eating any of these carrots or peppers, how much do I have to eat? Yeah, I mean, you, most people would probably talk about a fist-sized portion. Yeah. 
I prefer generally to focus more on colours. I think I don't talk to my patients about portion size. I have to get as many colours as you can. Yeah. You know, the weather's great outside. You know, people are having salad today. Just see how many different colours of things you can get and then count them up. You know, it's great for kids. It's good for adults as well, guys. Yeah. So we can I all, all, all try a bit later. Try lunch sources. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, a little less. Thanks, Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, the Andrew Marr programme is on BBC.